Thanks for tuning in to my brand new Minecraft series. After a long hiatus, I'm ready to jump into more blocky action with 101 new ideas. Thanks for rocking with me all year long and enjoy the series. So I started to clear out the area where the wither was, looted a lot of that stuff, and I ended up stumbling across this thing here. A, a, uh, uh, a thing. This. What's it called? The mine shaft. Yeah, there it is. Now, I'm at level 29 for mining stuff. If I were smart, I would go back home, enchant books, get rid of all my levels, and do that that way. But obviously, I'm not smart. 42 iron ingot. That's level 29 completed. Up to level 30 we go. So, you get 50 XP from the wither. Not 50 levels like the dragon, kinda. 50 XP in general. Not that good of a deal, dude. So not worth it. After looking for an extra 30 seconds, I discovered that was actually what it was for. And yeah, so now this is where we can potentially find name tags. So I guess it's a blessing in disguise. Usually how these things go. You're like, wow, everything is awful. I hate everything. Why is this the way it is? And then magically, boom, there you go. You have something good that happens to you. So hey, maybe that'll happen here. We can actually find the name tags that we need to make that iron farm. We need two of them. Or no, we need one of them, really. But two of them expedites the process. But again, you'll see that in a little while. Again, my name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. The number one most aggravated Minecraft player facing off against the wither that you've ever probably seen in your life. So we are definitely deep enough to go for diamonds as well. So that's a thing we can do. But we're looking out for some chests. That's going to be the main thing we're looking out for because that's going to be where the special stuff is. And provided we are in a mine shaft area like this, that is incredibly likely. So we're going to uh, scope out everything around here and see what we encounter. And obviously mining up, uh, you know, iron and whatnot all the live long day. So yeah, luckily the wither cleared out a bunch of stuff there. Uh, that made a lot of room to find new things. And I just stumbled across it. I, if I can find the way back up, then I'll show you. But that's uh, how I got a lot of these levels as well. Oh, great. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Nice. Um, that's how I found a lot of these levels. Was well, just by mining up things all along the way. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll just see if there's anything cool. I'm not gonna fast forward or anything through things. Um, I think this is actually one of the ways I wanted to go. No, okay. I marked off one way with torches. I thought that was this over here. Maybe it wasn't, but this is very expansive and it's gonna be a. a there's a lot more to it than you probably think, at least right now. So. It's really going to be kind of going in circles, but also finding what we need to do. You know, a little column A, column B. So this is where we were before. Um, I believe there is more to this up this way. I think this is a part of the, the thing here. It kind of looks that way. I mean, this is a whole cleared out staircase section. Yes, okay. So this is where I was just a few minutes ago. Just kind of scoping out to see how far this thing actually went. So that's cool. And I'm I'm just really, really hoping, dude. Really pulling for it, man. You never know. I'm just uh, <laughs> like I'm so I'm so in the zone, focused on finding these uh, these Nate or just a chest. And like, you know, it could also not happen. You know, the, the most likely place you'll find them is in uh, places like this. So, and it must be thundering outside in Minecraft because I just heard thunder go off and yeah. Lightning and the thunder, thunder, thunder. Feel the thunder. All right. So, nothing down this way. It's going to be a little dark at times, I guess. You know, it's going to not be a situation where I want to mark everything off. Or, you know, I don't want to use up too many torches if I don't have to. So, like, down this way, I can mine up this stuff, clear it off. And uh, get out of here. So the thing I'll focus on is, you know, marking. So I'll mark things off like this way. I don't need any more of these rails. I think we're, 
I think we're good on rails for now. And obviously we can find diamond and stuff too. But like this right here, that's going to be my indicator saying, hey, I've already been down this way. Don't need to come down here before or again. And obviously nothing down that way. Cool. So now we can just leave this be all through here. And we go back through uh, this away. You know, I'm still coming off of that whole wither experience. Not pleasant. But, you know, it's a thing that needed to be done. I knew I had to do it at some point. I've actually never... I think I spawned it in one time in my entire Minecraft... Minecrafting career. Just once. Just for the sake of doing it. But I never actually got through with it. Please. Oh, yes! Yes! Good. Thank goodness. Okay. Good. We got one. Play that, uh... That video of uh, in Ghostbusters when she's like, we got one, you know, when, when somebody finally calls to hire the Ghostbusters. That's basically exactly how I feel right now. Oh, boy. And I think like one of these things even gives out more levels than like the Wither did. Oh, finally. OK, good. So now anything from this point on is gravy, as the kids would say. So, yeah, you're probably going to notice I'm going to be backtracking through here. I can't believe I found one good. And, like, I could have, I really could have just spawned one in and just did it that way with creative mode. But, like, I didn't want to do that. That was a little bit too unfair. And, like, the fact that it took this amount of time and this amount of resources to actually do this. And please, give me another. No, but we got a golden apple. That's cool. I'll take the torches and the iron. That works out perfectly. Nice. So, yeah, to make it an expedited process, you really need four name tags for the zombies specifically. So we're not, uh, you know, we're not out of the woods yet. We still got to get back home. But then from this point on, we'll probably just dig up. And luckily, this is close enough to the house that I can mark it off and just re, you know, go back here kind of whenever. So that works out very, very well. Uh, let's clear through here. And I'm going to do this. Cool. Nothing here. This one's very disjointed. Uh, this one seems to have a lot less cohesiveness going on here compared to the ones we've encountered previously. And then I also want to take a really good look at what we have for tools and whatnot back at the house. Because we have all those super fancy, you know, diamond pieces there that, uh, you know, are very valuable and very, very good. I just haven't used any of them. Because I haven't wanted to eliminate the durability on any of that. But we have how many? 44 ingot and then 38 more ore. So we are fairly stacked. And what I think I'm going to do with these levels that I have here. Now, now that I'm at level 30 again. Uh, thunder going off. Uh, I'm going to focus on uh, making a, a definitive piece of diamond armor. So you know how we have like one really good diamond pickaxe or something like that. That's what I'm going to work for on the various, you know, a helmet, pair of pants, shoes, or whatever. Basically enchant everything to make everything all super crazy good. So that'll be what I do once we get back. And now iron will mostly be used. I mean, even at this point, iron is kind of not useless, but, like, we have a lot of diamond stuff. Like, the, the mending tools are just stellar. Those ones are really, really killer. So... We might end up uh, not even needing any iron anything, kind of, anymore. Almost. Not not quite. But it's definitely not as uh, prevalent as, you know, I once thought. So that's good. And that was just from going to the end and doing all that. So, we'll head over this way. Haven't gone this way yet. Okay, we got two cool ways to go. Maybe? No? No, that's a no. Alrighty. And how about down here? What's this? What's this? There's things all everywhere. We're going to go down all the various things there. What's this? What's this? I don't know the lyrics to that song. That's from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. But I uh, have not seen that movie enough times to know what exactly the lyrics are. Because it's, it's a good movie. You know, it's, a, it's a definitely a good movie. Just not one that I have uh, seen many a times. You know? Is it a Christmas movie? Is it a Halloween movie? Who's to say? Who's to say one way or another? You know what I mean? Whose jurisdiction is valid? You know? If Disney says it's a Christmas movie, but you think it's a Halloween movie, you know, what does it matter? What does it even matter, you know? Oh, here we go. Looks like we're close. Maybe. Yeah. Hold on. 
I don't think we've gotten hit, like, once by one of those spiders. These spiders are really a pain. But, yeah. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right. So there should be a chest somewhere around here where there is smoke. There is fire, after all. So here we go. Gonna make our way through. Yep. Nice. And this string is actually very helpful. Uh, we have not encountered a lot of string in our playthrough, really, at all. Finding these spiders has been more of a pain than I would ever have liked. So, okay, that worked out. That could have crushed me entirely. But okay. Oh, and that revealed kind of a new section. Okay. Go over here. And a whole lot of nothing right now. Nice. Uh, how about this? No. This? No. The snow? This snow. Speaking of snow, no snow yet. It was 70 degrees the other day. I think I might have mentioned that a few times in the playthrough. But it went from being 70 degrees for two days and then back down to 30, which definitely messed with me. I could feel all my muscles. Not all my muscles, but a lot of them, like, you know, just kind of wonking out, getting used to the weather and all that. So, you know, that's the price you pay when you get old, kids. Don't get old. Just stay young forever, you know. that That's when you know you're officially old, when, like, the older people in your life are like, make sure you stay young forever, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, as I am digging in Minecraft here, let me make sure I'm on yes, normal. I'm on normal. Cool. I want to make sure I'm not on easy mode. Because I feel like my hunger should be going down at a quicker rate here. But I guess not. Don't uh, don't get old if you can help it. You know, uh, stay active, but don't get too crazy. Make sure you sleep, kids. Make sure you go out there and sleep. It's very important for you. You may think, wow, I'm invincible. I can do. I can sleep. For two hours and be totally okay and it's like nope that's not how that works you will not survive throughout the day because i i mean i definitely don't i need lots of sleep not that i need it right now maybe i kind of do i can't really tell i can't really tell i'm not i don't think i'm tired i don't think so i know i just ran through there i know i know i'm just looking for diamonds not that we need them we definitely don't need them anymore but at this rate we're better off just going through and searching for diamonds in the end <laughs> and rare stuff in the end compared to mining for diamonds anymore but yeah and even yeah iron will mostly use for tools from now on unless we really run low on diamonds and we have to go back to the end for some reason but yeah um i still want to go back i want to go back and do that um I'm trying to think of any other like cool health tips oh i gotta go get something to eat oh, that's five o'clock oh that's not too bad I ate at noon. I made myself some uh, some very nice tacos. Not like officially like good tacos. Like not like with the you know the corn shell. There's a great debate between corn and flour tortillas. I like the flour tortillas, not the like the corn ones are more authentic, of course. But the corn ones just are always very. They always fall apart. They're very dry, in my experience. So I as a non-hispanic guy uh definitely prefer the flower the the, uh, the non-authentic uh the disingenuous uh tortillas the flower ones there's a big difference between the two uh the flower ones are very very soft very cool uh well not cool i mean you warm them up but like you know they're, it's very very different so if you're ever out at a restaurant and you know you like one over the other then yeah make sure you find out uh, what the difference is and what you prefer. Not that you should, you know, be particular. Like, it's still edible, but it's just like, ah, you know, it, it's preferring one thing over another. And I used uh, ground turkey meat instead of typical, you know, taco meat because it can be rather... What is that? I haven't found any uh, emerald, by the way. Zero emerald in the, uh, in this, like, cavern or, like, in general. I usually find... Uh, emeralds lurking in the in the ground here, but nope not even a little bit um, Cool more exp But yeah, I use that because it's a lot healthier for you There's less fat in the meat and then I drain it all out or I drain the the juices out the fat out Because as uh, as much as I am not the health advocate forever, you know, I, I got I got the, the the double chin It's here. It's it's definitely here 
Uh, hopefully it goes away slowly over time, over the course of this next year. That you'll be able to witness, uh, you know, in person, per perhaps. Uh, I will uh, try my best to, you know, negate those effects of the, all the fat and all the whatever. So I do that, and I got, ch uh, what's it there? Uh, cheddar? No. Uh, what's it? Pepper Jack cheese. Not Colby Jack cheese. I remember seeing Colby Jack cheese in the, in the actual... Well, I got it from Wegmans, by the way. Wegmans, the greatest place on earth. Uh, got it from there. And I'm like, no, I don't want Colby cheese. I want pepper jack cheese. So it was really just a mish. It's like the most American style tacos you can get. Uh, pepper jack cheese is very. Uh, it's not very spicy. It's spicy. It's got a little kick to it. I can handle my spice. So, not like a crazy deal. You know, if you put like a crazy hot pepper in front of me, I'm probably going to be like, ah, no. But. With pepper jack cheese, I can. And jalapeno stuff, ah, not so much. But, like, whenever I go, whenever I go to Chipotle in particular, uh, they always, so I, I get the medium salsa, which is a little bit more spicy than the, the, the mild, you know, obviously medium, mild, hot, whatever. But every time I go up, they, they just assume that I'm going to get the mild, and I say, you know, they ask, like, what, well, you know, what type do you want? And I'm like, oh, uh, medium. And then they're, they're already reaching for the mild before I can even finish my sentence. And it's like, dude, I can, I can handle the, a little bit of the heat. I know I'm responsible with my uh, Mexican food intake. It doesn't quite upset my stomach or anything like that, so it's all good, you know? But for some people... It's really good. Some people, they just can't, they can't handle the heat. And the, as the old saying goes, if you can't handle the heat, then you got to get out the kitchen. You know what I mean? Meow, meow, man. I haven't said that in a while. That, I, I've, I've put the, the meows and the meows on the hiatus here. All right, so that's good, kind of. Uh, you know, I, I always want to spice up the things that I say. I, I may have my catchphrases and things in general, but, uh, Meowing it out is is a pastime for the ages, and uh, I'm actually going to try a, a thing right here real quick. I'm going to try to dig all the way up here using two separate columns. We'll see how well uh, this goes here, or rather, you know, try here. Hold on. Okay, so we'll do this, and then that way in case if I fall or something falls on top of me. Oh, wow. Are you serious? Wow. Now, here's the big question. Where are we in relation to our house? What do you think? I think the house is this way. I think it's this way. Wow, I was right. Okay, cool. So that's where the wither was over there. This is where uh, the uh, the thing is. The thing, the thing, what's it called? The thing with the name tag. There we go. Okay, cool. So we have our name tag. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make the thing in the next episode. I'm going to definitely do that. And that's going to be what we do. We only need one of them for right now. Uh, multiple will be, you know, very helpful, but not necessarily uh, needed. So the rest of this episode, now that we have the name tag, is going to be based on the various enchantments we do have and enchanting the diamond stuff that we do have and, and trying to optimize that the best we can so oh boy here's optimization are you ready because i'm not yay optimizing things like a bunch of nerds all righty so let's grab our stuff actually let me dump this stuff first of all uh this this toss that into here because why not that into there and then this nice glass there okay nope there we go you Oh, we have a, a full, like, two stacks already. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that goes there. I know it's all not organized and whatnot. It's fine. We'll figure it out. And then, oh, is that a whole other stack? Wow, that's a whole other stack. Whoa, we are locked and loaded on coal for right now, man. That's crazy. All right, get this there. And, yeah, we are looking good. All right, so I'm going to grab the various things that we need. Uh, obsidian, that can go over here, right? Might as well. And the enchantment, yeah, that's stuff we need. All right, cool. So, let's see. The valuable weapons are over here. We have mending, unbreaking, and mending. So the only thing that's different here is the fortune. Fortune 2 is here, but this has 
mending. No, this one has mending efficiency and unbreaking. So that is just crazy. If that had, if this one had fortune, this would be the ultimate one. So we need just more books, and we're gonna combine stuff afterward. I think. Uh, this has fire protection for you. Can't already enchant stuff that's already been enchanted. You can combine stuff, but you can't make it crazy. All right. So let's say hypothetically, right? If we took these two, let's just say we wanted to take these two, the easy miner five thousand. Okay, take that with that. That costs thirteen nine. Halaba halaba ha. Okay. Halaba 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 la 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 la. Yeah yeah All right. Well, that's not gonna happen. Hey. All righty. So let's go with. Uh, that's got sharpness, but this one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Boom. Boom, this one, mending. Uh, ooh, this one, so if I combine these two, uh, sharpness three, yep, sharpness three with, uh, no, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, sharpness three with the mending one. Let's see how much this would cost. This would cost, oh, nine, that's not bad. So you got that. Oh, it negates Bane of Arthropods, though. So you can't combine them reverse, but you can combine them there. So this one has sharpness three, unbreaking three, mending one. Sharpness three, mending one. So it takes unbreaking three and brings it over, but it doesn't do anything with Bane of Arthropods, which is kind of disappointing. So I don't want to do that. But let's take uh, as much stuff as we can. We're going to enchant these books and see what happens. And yeah. Why don't we make a definitive set of diamond armor here? So we have, let's see here. We can repair this stuff, but this one, I'm just going to bring stuff. Let's just bring stuff, take it from there. Do I have any other books that I can potentially take with me? Yes, I do. All righty, let's just go. Let's just go and see what happens. Let's spend some money, 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 money. Dollar, 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 dollar. Bling, bling. Mm -mm. Cut the cheddar. Let's go. Let's go all the way through here. We're going to be here for a hot minute. And then I think, yeah, what I'm going to do off camera is build a... Or I might do a fast-forward episode, like a, a speed run sort of thing, kind of. Uh, making a bunch of, uh, like, a, like a whole storage area. It needs to happen. It absolutely needs to happen. The feather falling, sharpness, blast protection. Okay, load all that stuff here. So, yeah, if I try to bring something here, it's not going to work, obviously. Uh, that's all enchanted already. So, uh, I guess we just keep doing this, right? That's got Feather Falling 4, Sharpness 3. Okay, I gotta add way more of those. No, I can't already. Oh, because we're we're not at level 30 anymore. Awesome, okay. So maybe uh, putting a hole into that plan, we'll see. Uh, Fortune 3, ooh, spicy, alrighty. Well, here's what we can do. We can wait until that stuff is done smelting, and then we can cash it out, right? So... I mean, we got a lot of stuff already. We got a lot of stuff. Now, let me check to see what it would take to repair all of this stuff. Just hypothetically as a set of armor as it is right now. Because if I can get some, like, you know, not fortune, but, like, other good enchantments on here, like resistance and all that, that would be very helpful. So let's grab this stuff here. Nope. Got to take off the helmet and blah, 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 blah. Boom. All right. Cool. So it's really just a quantity of the... The, the diamonds here. So it takes two, which is obviously... It takes more to make a new helmet than to repair that one. So everything looks like it takes two. Right? It costs two. So I should kind of... Now, if I can get the Frostwalker... Ooh, if I can get that... If I get the Frostwalker diamond boots... Ooh, you got me. You got me if that's the case, man. You got me. All right? Let's go... Let's try this. We're going to repair this for right now. Uh, do I have any other boots on me? No. I don't. That's a negative. Okay. So, I have these boots that are indeed made for walking. Like, that's the one thing I really, 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 really want. And I also have the boots that are back over toward that way. Um, oh, and I wasted more levels there. Oops. Okay, so we're already up partway to 27. We're up to... Okay, so I'm definitely not going to get it through this time here, which stinks. But oh well. Uh, plenty of other stuff, though. All right. Um, well, what I can do... 
So here's what this thing does. What what no, not this thing. It the um the thing upstairs. That thing. So this stuff here, right? This stuff that we're not going to use, like this crazy cool stuff. Like okay, let's say fire aspect 1. I think we can take this stuff apart and you and like get the levels for it if you can kind of see what I mean here. Hold on. So you can disenchant stuff and then take that stuff and use it for others. Get out of here, Dominic. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Because this could be an EXP gold mine just waiting to happen here, all right? So this is repair and disenchant. So we have that blast protection book. We're at almost 27 right now. Let's say we take this apart. There we go. So we get a little bit of EXP for that. So we can take all this stuff off disenchant it and we get the respective exp back so now we're almost well we're at like 27 early 27 so that's kind of what you want to do that way you can get the levels back and re basically get a re-roll in a way that's a, a video game in term is called re-rolling for things so we can do that uh we'll take all the stuff that we don't really want or need um fortune 2 I feel like we have something that's fortune like crazy good, right? Somewhere. Like anything that, like looting three, that's good. Bane of Arthropods, I hate. I hate Bane of Arthropods. Blast protection will never need. Um, depth, blast protection, depth strider, eh, no. I mean, I, I'm not that big on it. Blast protection and sharpness we can get rid of. Uh, feather falling is still good. Now let's take a look at this stuff over here. Flame Protection 4. Aqua Affinity 1 we can definitely get rid of. We can get rid of this. We can basically get rid of a lot of this stuff. Uh, Iron Sword. Yeah, get rid of this. All right, so we're going to cash out right here. We're going to cash out and have... Because, like, Iron Anything at this point is just, like, whatever. We just don't need it. Like, I mean, it's cool to have, but we're looking for diamond stuff here. All right, so let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's cash out uh, this guy right here. Boom. Let's cash out this guy right here. We're at level 27 still. That that seems like a bit of a ripoff, but okay. Now, I don't even want to try getting rid of one of those. Oh, boy. That would be that would be a trip to see how much XP we'd get off of one of those, but I'm not, uh, I'm not trying it there. I thought we would get a lot more XP, but it looks like that's a negative. So... And I wish there was a way for you to break down these helmets. Like, there was a way to smelt it down. I, I'm pretty sure that, like, there should be, right? There should be some way to do that. But, oh, well. I'm going to hang on to it here for right this second. Because, like, we're not going to use this stuff. Uh, Aqua Affinity, one respiration. But we have something that's equivalent over here, right? Um, no, we just got rid of it, actually. So I think that's the only one we have. Okay. Mending? Uh, mending is very valuable, dude. Mending is super valuable. Actually, let's take all this stuff. All these enchantments we can get out of here, right? That, that, that. Yep, there we go. Just to, just to, again, cash out and see where we're at. So I could have done this a long time ago, and, you know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna grab, <laughs> I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab it right here. Let's, uh, let's just take this back home. I don't know why I keep going all the way back home here uh, or back to that area I know that's his station right there but we can obviously make a new one and we have a couple of them in the chest already so I don't know why yeah all right oops and then it doesn't help that the enchanting table is far away but whatever uh, let's see this goes here and then keep your nose to the grindstone all right get rid of that get rid of this and this that yeah there we go uh, we don't want to get rid of that so you're basically just getting free XP whenever you get one of these it's pretty sweet man all right uh, that looks like everything we're at halfway to 28 that's pretty good that's pretty solid now we're almost to 29 so we're, we're working our way back up here man we're working our way back up let me see what the frost walker uh, enchantment like what level it requires here because that again is the main goal here um it, it's when the a radius of a two plus block makes it with the ice yes 
Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. It doesn't say. So that's interesting. Let's eat some food real quick. Hey, man, let's see. Let's just take a little eating break here. Because why not, right? Okay. Um, no, I want this stuff. Mending, I don't want to get rid of. Ideally, mending everything that way it's infinite. Basically makes it so there's no need to ever repair this stuff. So that stuff, we're just going to keep there. Like, being a, like mending, that's the mending one. Anything mending is going over here. How about that? All right, mending one. This this is where it's at right here. This stuff, that's uh, the creme de la creme right there. Uh, fortune 3 efficiency. Wait, hold on. Fortune 3 efficiency. Fortune 2 efficiency 3. Fortune 2 efficiency 2. All right, so if I try to combine these two, let's say I'm getting all the numbers mixed up here. All right, give me a second. All right, too expensive. Uh-oh, 38. Oh, that's bad. Okay, well, I love how it was like, ah, it's too expensive. Don't even bother. Don't even bother trying that one. You don't want to do that. That is a mistake, genuine mistake. Um, I don't even want to waste my time doing other enchantments that aren't level 30, so I'm going to wait until I do something that makes me go over level 30. There we go. Cool. That took way longer than I thought. So I realize that two of my diamond swords have mending on them. Now I could disassemble one of them and still kind of be in the clear and, you know, have a diamond sword that has mending all the time. In the event that I do die, I don't want to lose it. So I think I'm just going to leave it as it is and not disassemble that one there. I'm just going to hope that, you know, Maybe if I ever need it or I can give it to someone else or not that anyone else would be in here, but you get the idea So now I'm gonna try with these diamond boots I'm gonna repair or not repair them, but I'm gonna enchant them and see what we can get to happen here now that I'm level 30 All right, so protection for try it uh, Protection for thorns too. That's stupid. All right, whatever Protection for I mean it's cool is very cool and we can enchant that and whatever but not what I'm not what I'm looking for. So, all right. Well, we have a lot of stuff. Okay. We have a lot of stuff here. I but like I uh, uh okay. I guess I'm just Noah now. Uh we have a lot of stuff and we can use that stuff to to do whatever. I'm going to make that whole thing on, you know, the whole uh thing that to, to make all this stuff look good a warehouse kind of basically kind of a, a warehouse sort of a deal i will do that and let you know how that goes but i want to thank you guys and girls for listening watching tuning in and meowing it out with me as always my name has been brian saviano aka brick so brian yeah so i'm gonna go and do that and I'll let you know how it goes i'm not i'm gonna use like cobblestone and stuff it's not gonna be anything resource intensive or anything like that but i'll record it and i'll show you so yeah bye